Hey Connell. Sup. Hey Connell. Sup. Hey Connell. I'm cool. Anyways, I'm Ram, the host of this podcast, which may or may not be missing one person and hasn't been replaced with cookies. Instead, and joining me today, as always, as I stumble on all my words, is Connell, who seems to love puns with his head. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because where else would I love puns from? I'm Connell. I'm the local strategy games expert. Uh, I win at everything. And trust me, there's no difference between a pile of cookies and our third guest. Or our third, our guest. Yeah, our third wheel, as we yeah. normally call them. Anyways. We don't actually normally call them that. Coming up in today's show, we have the most lovely topic, which I'm showing you now. Topic of the day. Favorite video games of the, well, our growing up years. 1990 to 2000. And there are some really doozies in there. Or really large doozies. Depending on how you use the term doozies. There's some of them in there, though, that fit under all. There were all. some nice ones. Yeah. There were some Just nice a few, ones. you know. Oh, this was, these were the largest years of gaming ever, you know. Yeah. That would be right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Provided you like trilogy. Yeah, but I mean, for like old, for classic games, like games that are, series that are still running today. This is this, true. This is the sweet spot right here. Anyways, moving, moving on and past all that good stuff. Back to our lovely faces. So, I'm hosting. So that means Connell can start off with random stuff that he's done today. I heard something about laser tag. Uh, this is true. Uh, today, uh, playing some post-finals laser tag, although a bunch of people uh, didn't show up, and a bunch more people didn't write any finals. But it was okay. There was like six of us running around the Lather Quest place and hours of fun and amusement there. Always, I suppose. Yep. And then I got accused of being a map hacking faggot in StarCraft today by somebody who doesn't understand how a road rush is supposed to work. Playing some of that non Masters games, I see. They're, it's not my fault I get matched up against Diamond players occasionally. And they just do what again? Oh yeah, they freaking rage. Also, it's really hard to map hack in StarCraft 2. Legitimately. It takes a lot more effort than it did back in Brood War. Yeah. Yeah, at least, you know, they probably played Brood War then. To be fair. That's true. And what have you been playing today, Connell? Uh, that's been about it. Just, just StarCraft. Got in about four ladder games today. So that's that so, was pretty good. How climb, about you? Um, I haven't really had time to play much today. Like the major thing that I've played today was Jewel Quest on my phone. <laughs> nice. I mean, what else are you gonna do on the bus? Yeah, I know, right? Forty-five minutes. Write crappy stories. Yeah. I mean, um. Oh, oh, the claws come out early in this podcast. Ouch, that hurt, that hurt right here. Right here, oh, right here in my groin. Because I'm razor sharp. <clears throat> yeah. And aim for the balls. You also have your head glued to a mothership. Core, what's your point? <laughs> my point is that I love puns. What's your point? I got a wizard's hat. You're a wizard, Graham. A what? A wizard. Okay, moving on. Other than that, no, I basically just chilled, went to school, came back, chilled. Didn't have any cool post-final laser day game. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, well. Yep, and I haven't really done much since. I watched the YouTube, caught up with that. Now I'm talking to you after the third guest, who shall remain nameless, decided to leave us. Or be simultaneous, or, uh, or be turned into a pile of cookies. This is true. Of the peanut butter variety. Why peanut in, butter? Because. <laughs> in their defense, they didn't know we'd be recording again today. But. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. For those of you who don't know, we actually recorded one for yesterday. 
And I may have forgot to turn my mic on. And by may, he definitely did. Shh, shh, Connell. Shh. Either way, um, yeah, that's what all I've been doing. Cool. Which, you know, it's basically life. I'm, I'm such an exciting person, aren't I? Yep, absolutely. What are we talking about? Right now, we're on Life Sucks. <laughs> the category of the show where life sucks because, well, it's life. And life sucks. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Yeah, it's out of the way. All right, just push it out of the way. No, our topic for today, when I can find it on my hotkeys, just after flipping through all of them, is video games. As always. Because that's yes. what we do. And yeah. How we roll. Yeah. For so, anyone asking credential wise, I write a blog about video games. It's, it's okay. Not gonna brag about it. Link in the description. And Connell plays StarCraft 2 almost professionally. It's a that, re- it's a religion to him, let's be honest now. Now saying that I play it almost professionally and calling it a religion a religion are both fairly uh, heavy uh hyperbole there, but Dwarf Fortress? <laughs> what about it? Nothing, nothing. One of the few left that can play it. The hardcore fans. Except for the player base is probably growing. But anyway, to the main topic because I want to talk about it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, my favorite video game, uh the nineteen ninety to two thousand era era was uh right at the end of that. Uh, Heroes of Might and Magic, the third installment. Uh, it's one of my favorite strategy games. Uh, I still occasionally go back and play it when I can find all my discs. It unfortunately happens less and less these days, but... Um, and it's definitely one of the better strategy games I've played. Um, lots of options. The hero leveling system is quite fantastic at making you make intelligent choices. Um, the different races you can play, um, they're somewhat imbalanced, but not horribly so. <coughs> Nature sucks. <coughs> oh. Yo, we're still in Hero of the Might and Magic 3 here. I know. We're still rocking the rampart, okay? At least your hero doesn't look like a, uh, non... Yeah, I'm not going to get into what the nature heroes always look like, but they ride a unicorn, and they're men. That should tell you something. They're fucking cool. Um, yeah. Are you trying to call them hipsters? Yeah, I was. Obviously not going for something completely different and sexual, but yeah. Hipsters, that's that's what I was going for. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. So, uh, how about you, Graham? What's What's your favorite video game of that era? Uh, well, like anything, ten-year period, I've got quite a few to focus it down on to one. Eh, is a bit difficult. Uh, so if only you had like a day to think about it or something. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? That that'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Um, no, it comes down to uh, phalanx or flanks, however you want to call that. It's a space shooter, shoot 'em up, side-scrolling space shooter. It's really cool, really fun. It's got a mode that's after uh, hard difficulty that's called funny difficulty. I see. It, it's, uh, yeah, it's that kind of game. And probably comes down to Mech Warrior too. Mercenaries. Yeah. Um, that was a pretty good game. I played that one. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it very thoroughly. Like, there were no textures to speak of whatsoever on the ground. <laughs> but the mechs... The looked- graphics were not exactly groundbreaking. Yeah, no. Even in, even in Mech Warrior Three, they weren't great, but at least it had water. Like you could tell what water was. I remember one of these. Uh, one time I was playing this, and <laughs> literally it was a black map. I think this might even be the first level. It was just a completely black map, and all the buildings show up in yellow lines. There's black with yellow lines, so they're just yellow outlines of buildings. <laughs> and every time you shot, you shot green lasers. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> Uh, uh, sound about right? Yep. Yeah. Eventually gets to daylight and better and better graphics as the game progresses. 
It was released in 96? I think, I think 96 is when it was released. But I wouldn't swear to that. Um, 96, 94... I don't know. Mm, MechWarrior 2, 31st Century Combat, Wikipedia tells me, was in 1995. Right between the years I picked. Good. Yep. <laughs> now, I would say that's probably one of the best mech games, still. Mm. Even, even uh, MechWarrior Online is coming out, and I would say that this is better than that. Really? Yeah, one of the things... And yeah. One of the things I don't like about the Xbox games, if we're getting into this, um, I didn't like that you had to hack the mech, or you even had the ability to hack a mech. I thought mm-hmm. I thought it was kind of annoying, because there's certain missions where you have to, and I always failed because I wasn't paying attention, and I'm terrible at quick time events. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, quick time events. <laughs> so every time they did that, I got completely screwed. Or you'd run out of ammo with your elemental. I don't know. You, something would happen to your elemental. And you'd have to get out and run around as the actual person. Which is basically guaranteed death. Yeah. I remember doing such in uh, Lone Wolf. Which was the only Xbox MechWarrior game I ever played. Yeah, there's also uh, MechWarrior... Or Mech, Mech Assault, Mech Assault. 1. Yeah. Which came with a free demo of something or other that I probably could find if I look at my feet. Well, don't do that. You never know what kind of rifts in the temporal universe you might create. Think of the time-space continuum, Graham. Think of the time-space continuum. No! Found it. Uh, I came with a Forda, uh, Forza demo, actually. Oh, is that right? Cool. Forza's actually probably one of the, my favorite racing games. Not like I'm an Xbox fanboy or anything. No, no, that's not that's not you at all. I own, I hey, I own two PlayStation Twos, and I used to own a PlayStation One, so I'm not I'm not terrible. Like it, it could be worse. <laughs> Granted, I only played Soul Calibur. Dun dun dun. It could always be worse. I said, yeah, yeah, I could be living in Africa, not have any video games. Yep. <laughs> On that topic, um, so in gaming news this week, I haven't really watched. <laughs> I've, mm. I've been a little bit busy doing other things. If you're following the StarCraft Pro scene, uh... Wait, 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 Connell, Connell, I gotta, I gotta do this. And now, it's time for the StarCraft 2 Pro segment. Yeah, so uh, the Pro League, the Casper Pro League, is heating up. Uh, there's only one undefeated team thus far. Uh, Stefano. CJ, CJ Antis. Uh, Stefano hasn't played. He hasn't been in Korea still. But I believe CJ Antis is the only undefeated team. Uh, I believe they've gone 4-3 in... Um, Every single one of their matches thus far in this season. But they were also the winners of the uh, hybrid Brood War uh, StarCraft II Pro League. So that's not a real surprise that they're doing good. And then the Home Story Cup is happening like right now, essentially. Um, <clears throat> they ran the first half, the first group stage. Uh, let yesterday slash this morning, depending on where you are in the world, and they're going to be running that for the rest of the week. And it will be a party. Absolutely. Uh, who's is tasteless? Uh, casting no. that? No. Um, I'm not sure who they've got for actual casters this time, but they just pull in whichever pro player happens to be standing around, not. Uh, having much to do. I turned in earlier today and heard Grubby, Stefano, and Bling uh, cast Rhett versus Hasuobs. That must have been terrible. I hate, not, not to hate on Stefano, but his accent gets in the way a tiny bit. A bit, but it was 
It was fairly amusing. Yeah, he's a funny guy, actually, from what I've seen. Never actually met him. I uh, generally don't have the resources to go to an MLG <laughs> event. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, also, living in Canada kind of sucks the big one for StarCraft. A little bit. I mean, if you live in Toronto, that's cool. And then if you live in Vancouver, that's not terrible. But if it's not, if you don't live in one of those two places, then that's kind of bad. Yeah, the, the middle of the country kind of gets screwed out. Same with the East Coast and the Northwest Territories because they don't have internet up there. Lol, 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 lol. Um, yeah. But the other thing I've noticed is, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, there's see, there seems to be a really, really massive kill-off of StarCraft II teams this year, and very recently too. Within the last three months, we've lost four teams, five teams? Well, I think off the top of the game, there were a lot more teams that could really be held together. So it sort of makes sense to me that they're contracting a bit. Uh, you'll probably see a bunch more spring out. Uh, shortly after Heart of the Swarm was released. Well, yeah, I, I, there's a couple. So. Uh, one guy just started following me on uh, Twitter, actually. Brand new guys. They have like they have a lot of players. They got seven or eight players actually, and um, even Axiom is a new team, and it, it's more or less the decaying ruins of Slayer. <laughs> Slayers. Yeah. It's a decent chunk of that. Well, a lot of the talent end up on Axiom. Mm-hmm. All right, and that basically covers it from Wait, wait, there's StarCraft. one more. Oh, you know, that's StarCraft, yeah. There's one more thing for news, though, that I have, is the PS Vita, the lovely, horribly expensive system. It's being dropped. All the price is being dropped on it after New Year's. Nice. Good thing. Am I going to buy one? Probably not, basically because the game market for it is still very small. There's just not enough games, and there's not enough incentive yet for me to actually buy one. Like, if I could buy a game on that and then do, like, the Wii U and just transfer it to the PlayStation 3 and play it on that, on a full, full large screen while still using the controller, mm -hmm. I, I'd like that, right? That'd be good. I wouldn't mind that. Paying the $67 a game for any game. On that system, except for like the free ones or PlayStation Plus, etc. Yeah, but it, mm, yeah, the price is coming down, which it, it's nice, but uh, when, it's not there yet. Yeah, when you don't have any games to play on it, it's a little bit, a little bit tricky. <laughs> and yeah, that wraps up what I've got for news. Connell, you got anything to add? Nope. So, uh, in regards to what's happening with the uh, GEC cast, um, looks like we're probably going to be uploading on Wednesdays, so you'll probably have the video Thursdays. Am I right with that? At least for now. Uh, we'll see what the new year brings, but... And... You should also... Next Wednesday is the 26th. So that should be fine. You should see us then. Yeah, and if you're wondering, uh, there will probably be a few random uploads happening. Either when something really, really big comes out, it'll be like a five-minute episode. And me and Connell and maybe someone else, depending on who's online at that particular moment, will be on. And we'll just talk about I, it. I believe what you meant there. And someone who we've got arranged on standby in case such a situation arises. Yes, yes, that is that is what I meant. We are professional. Um, <clears throat> we should mention that we do these in one take and one take only. So anything that happens in them, happens in them for the internet to see. And it's unfortunate. Except for getting started on your mic. <clears throat> <clears throat> Very funny, Connell. Very funny. Anyways... I Follow the channel on YouTube. It's the GEC cast, all caps. Well, the GEC caps asked non caps because I'm a retard when I enter titles into YouTube. Don't hate. Um, well, I think that's all I got, Connell. 
you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Ice Commander. Uh, <laughs> you can follow my blog. It has nothing to do with gaming, but you can come check it out anyway. Link in the description. Uh, the better tail .ca in case your link in descriptionally challenged. And, and that's it for me. And as for me, you can follow me, well, I wouldn't say this following, you can look at my blog at wasdhatred.com. That is where I blog about all the cool stuffs, including a, I've got a Master of Orion review up right now, but you'll probably enjoy more of the lists that I have. I've got a top indie game and a top RPG list, which are very cool, and I suggest you check out. Not that I'm advertising shamelessly. <laughs> um, the selfless plug is pretty much mandatory for the end of the podcast. I know. Uh, you can follow my blog, which was started before Connell's. Well, yeah, well, it, I had it together before Connell's. We had the first post. And there are counter-arguing stories that aren't connected whatsoever at something that's really hard to spell, so link <laughs> in the description for that. K-A-J-S-E-M-N-C dot blogspot dot C-A. Oh, look who's memorized it. And if you want to follow... Look who happened to have a tab open. Whoa. I see what you're doing there, reading my blog. Looking at what the competition's doing. Seven posts behind. Um, and if you want to follow me at social media sites, well, Twitter. Because <laughs> we don't have a Facebook. Yet. Yet. Um, the same thought there. Um, follow me at WASD hate at the Twitters. Follow me. We'll have a good time. It'll be fun. Hey, Graham, guess what? You don't follow me on Twitter. <laughs>